Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean out and optimize your WordPress database. We're gonna be doing this with a plugin called Perf Matters, and this plugin will take care of removing those old posts that you threw in the trash can, your post revision history, spam comments, all that stuff, and much, much more. Um, we're gonna do that in this tutorial, show you how to do that, and you can actually do this either automatically or manually on a schedule. So um, let's take a look at this, and let's take a look at how much of an impact this has on our size of our database. So we'll do all that in this video. And uh, before we start, I just want to use the analogy, and I kind of stole this from the authors of the plugin Perf Matters, um, kind of like the same way that you would uh, work on your car, oil your car, service your car. You want to do the same thing with your WordPress database on a, a routine basis, and this is exactly what that plugin allows you to do. So just wanted to throw that in there. Let's go ahead and look at the tutorial here. We're going to be using my, uh, my live website here, tonytravels.com. And this is a WordPress website, so I can log in here to the WordPress admin dashboard. And um, what you're gonna do is first grab a plugin called Perf Matters. Now this is a, a premium plugin and um, it will uh, it will be a paid plugin, but it's it's not just about the database optimization. It has so much more more features on it, and actually, this was a critical part of obtaining a 100 PageSpeed Insights score, optimizing my website to a point where I could do such a thing. So. Um, this is just like the tip of the iceberg for database optimization. So inside of the plugin settings, we want to go to the extras tab. And in here, we want to go to the database section. And uh, here is where we can optimize and clean up our database. So like I said, post revisions, uh, the auto drafts for your post, posts that you throw in the trash, spam comments, trash comments, and then transients, that's a, uh, that's basically like common database operations that um, might not be used anymore, or in some cases they are being used. And then op unoptimized tables, I think that's only good for um, certain types of MySQL databases. But anyway, what I wanna do here today is uh, go through and actually optimize my database and show you kind of like a before and after snapshot. So what I do have open here in this other tab is uh, PHP my admin, which if you're not familiar, this is like a, a web user interface on top of my database, which allows me to like take a look at it without you know doing some crazy commands on the command line. Um, so let's look at our Tony Travels web WordPress database. And you can see all the individual tables associated with that and the size for each one of those tables in this column here. Uh, but what we wanna look at specifically is the total size of the database. So we're looking at right around 11.3 megabytes. So that's pre-database uh, optimization and cleanup. So let's go ahead and tick some of these options to clean up our post revisions, our auto drafts, our trash posts, spam comments, trash comments, and transients. Now, um, I, there is no optimization for this because I've either A, already went through this process or B, my uh, database is not um, optimizable in this case. Uh, so we won't check that. And we can click on optimize now. And that'll take just a few seconds. And I should point out the fact it's big red text here. Uh, you should back up your database before doing this. And I've already done that. Um, I actually have a video about that, backing up your WordPress database. Um, which I'll have linked at the end of this video. So definitely check that out too. Um, that looks good. So uh, the other option here is schedule optimization. And you can do that either daily, weekly, or monthly if you're interested in doing that. So let's go over here and take a look at our uh, the size of our database now that we have ran those optimizations. So if you just come back in here and come down, we are down to 9.3 megabytes in size, which is um, a good... 10% reduction in size just from that. So that's good, especially if you're working with a, a server with restricted web space. And especially if you're working on a server uh, or you have a website that's pretty huge because you can see 10% of like a gigabyte would be a significant reduction in space. So um, that's about it for this video, guys. If you have any questions about optimizing your WordPress database tables or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Check out some of my other Perf Matters videos here. 
and other videos about uh, backing up your WordPress database. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh,